Um, I will be refuting uh, their case on uh, that laws are insufficient and that uh, handguns should be banned in private possession. So, uh, Jared brought up some points about accidents that happened with, with children. And although those are uh, very tragic and we would do anything to uh, prevent these, uh, the, the two things that we can do instead of private possessions that could be considered minor repairs, uh, we can educate our youth on the use of handguns and we can, we can also um, repair the, uh, the ownership requirements of handguns in different states, like, like Ryan pre uh, presented, that some states uh, do not require <coughs> training or in California, <coughs> that it's only uh, 16 to 24 hours. <coughs> we can make repairs that, that state that we need to go through the training that police officers do, who are uh, very well trained with handguns, uh, if you want to become an owner. Uh, the accidents are a very, very, very small percentage of deaths in the United States. Uh, many people die of many different accidents, um, and many more people do. So these can be uh, dismissed. <coughs> Uh, in regards to the uh, gang violence that Jared was talking about and how um, youth are getting guns, uh, gangs are considered criminal and criminals will not uh, stop because uh, a single law prevents them from getting firearms. Uh, it's, it's foolish to think that because uh, because a law prohibits them from doing something illegal, that they would stop completely when uh, today they are already doing things illegal uh, with guns. So why would they stop if a new law was placed? Um, <coughs> criminals will still be able to get weapons from family members and uh, according to the Bureau of Justice Statistics in May 2013, uh, 37.4 percent of state prison inmates who used a firearm when they committed their crime obtained the gun from a family member or a friend. Uh, this just shows that there are there are many alternatives besides uh, going to buy a gun. Um, if, if we allow, or I'm sorry, uh, if we if we don't allow uh, law-abiding citizens to keep their guns in their possession, then they will not be able to defend themselves from the people who do not uh, follow these new laws that we have set in place. <coughs> and um, as for suicides and the safety of people uh, around gun owners, um, again, uh, many, many uh, convicts tend to avoid uh, those uh, gun owners because uh, because of the risk of their life and uh, suicides cannot be prevented simply because they do not allow gun ownership in public. 